The Blueprints section is used to compose provisioning catalogs. It is comprised of instance types, layouts, node types, app blueprints, catalog items, and cluster layouts. Additionally, items from Options and Templates sections are incorporated to call in custom options for users, infrastructure as code spec files, scripts, and more. To learn more about creating different types of blueprints and the specifics of what each tab does, visit our documentation site linked below. For now, we'll go over a general overview of each. Adding an instance type creates a new library item category. Multiple layouts can be attached to an instance type, and these layouts have, can have different nodes attached. The Instance Provisioning Wizard will present the layout options compatible with the selected cloud. Layouts are attached to instance types. A layout can only be attached to a single instance type and a single technology. An instance type can have one or many layouts attached to it, allowing for a single instance type to work with any technology type. Node types are added to layouts. They are the link between images and layouts. Node types can be shared across layouts of matching technology types. App Blueprints support a vast array of providers and configurations with programmatic markup or infrastructure as code capabilities. Blueprints configs can be manually added or scoped to a Git repo. Morpheus Blueprints allows for full automation configuration, locked fields, tiered boots, and linked tiers with exported EVARs. All blueprints have permission settings for controlling group and tenant access. The self-service catalog is where administrators can create easily deployable items for consumption by users operating under the service catalog persona in Morpheus. The clusters layout tab is where you can delete, edit, or clone cluster layouts. For more information, visit our documentation site linked below. Thank you.